hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. All right, first two cards that we have out, King of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. All right, I'm also seeing Four of Cups and I'm seeing Strength. What's immediately coming through is, I'm seeing on one hand, there being something that's being like offered or something that's coming up or something that's presenting itself in some way. To have strength next to Four of Cups can show you being in a space where you don't want to take something on like you may not be interested in something. There's something here that's presenting. You're feeling like I'm focused on what I have going on here. Like I'm not trying to take that on too. Having strength here can show that it may be difficult to turn this down, but you know that it's not aligning with you. So you would know in your heart, like I don't want to do this or I don't want to take this on or I am not interested in this or not right now, like that type of thing. Having strength is about you being able to like show up in that way, in a way that's authentic and to actually like communicate that, to say that. What it looks like is that you have something else going on that you want to be focusing on. So as opposed to this thing where you're like, nah, I don't really want to take that on. This energy is something where you're like, I do want to go this way. I do want to pursue that. But it's about having the strength to show up here and be like, I don't want that. So I'm going to say no or not right now or whatever it is that I need to do to sort of keep that at a distance. And I'm going to go this way that I want to be going because this is what's actually calling to me. So it's about going in the direction of like what you do want and what is calling to you and the path that you do want to be walking upon rather than taking this thing on that's not resonating with you. Some of you though, having King of Pentacles and having this, this little page of Pentacles, maybe somebody coming through wanting to help you or wanting to give you something or trying to provide you with something, but having this card shows you don't want what that is. So it's about, and this can be something material because this is coming from a pe from pentacle suits. This can be something where it's like, here, you want this actual thing or I'm offering this or you feel like whatever is being offered, you don't need that thing. It's like, hey, I can help you out with that or I can give you this thing. But this is showing on an emotional level. This is not resonating with you, but this is resonating with you. So it's about going in the direction of what's actually aligning this card is about authenticity here within this, regardless of what's being offered. Because this can be like, here, you can have this title, take that. Or here, you can have this promotion, take that. Or here, you can get these benefits, take that. Or here, I can help you out with that. But again, it's something that's not resonating with you on the inside. But again, this is. So it's about being true to yourself here and moving this way. King of Pentacles can be something that's coming through that could appeal to your ego or could appear appeal to your like materialism in some way. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not a bad thing. We're just like throwing the label on it so you can understand like what form that may be presenting itself in. It can also be a person that's coming through too. But again, like whatever it is, that's not to say that this person isn't capable or that they can't really give what they're saying that they would give or that they're not really showing up with what they're showing up with. They are showing up with something. This can even be like a boss trying to get you to do something where you're like, I don't want to play that role or I don't want to be in that position or I don't want to stay or whatever it is, you know. So what this is, that's not to say that this isn't like authentic what's coming through or it's not legitimate. It is. But for you it doesn't matter because it's not resonating with you. So it's like somebody's offering you something that you know that you don't want. So even though it may look good on paper, because pentacles can look good on paper, because we have four of cups here, that's like on an energetic level really doesn't hold that value. I 
I will say this too. This isn't like I'm not doing anything and this thing is coming up and I'm just rejecting it, which there's nothing wrong with that even if you were, but I'm seeing specifically like whatever this is that's coming through, like it's not resonating with you in the way that something is resonating with you because I'm seeing something has caught your eye over here. Something is intriguing to you, something is interesting to you, and even though it may not be, this could maybe be like flashy in some way, or you could get something from it, again, like materially in some way, or like a title, or like a recognition, something like that. This is what you would rather be doing, because there's passion involved here. So this is like more resonating with like what drives you, like that type of thing, and you really listening to the sound of your heart here with this. You're gonna be better off for it. All right, so we have Leo and I'm also seeing Aquarius here. And I'm seeing Saturn too. It looks like this is about listening to and following, envisioning your inner vision. It does feel like you're gonna have to turn something down or turn it away or not accept it. But you would feel like this is the right decision to do because you have something that you're interested in pursuing, a path that you're interested in, and you may not be able to explore that if you take on whatever this is. Having the star and having the world shows that there's something really big here that's being accomplished that's connected with your path that's connected with your journey so this is going to be something of significance it also shows there being hope too and what it is that you're accomplishing as well okay So who are we looking at here? I'm seeing Leo, I'm seeing Scorpio, I'm seeing Mercury, and I'm hearing Sagittarius, and I'm also seeing Aquarius. I'm seeing Taurus on the bottom of the deck as well. Okay. I'm looking at Four of Pentacles, and I'm looking at Nine of Swords. This can mean that... Um, you may want to make like a safe call or something that would promote you being secure or be like really like conservative here, but you would know that this is coming from a place of fear and it's not something that you want to be trapped by. So you can sort of be working with this energy where it's like there's if you're if you have a decision here where it's like do I take this thing on that's not really resonating with me because I feel like I'm gonna like get something external from it versus do I really follow like what's driving me and listen to that call and go that way it's like one thing is motivating you that's motivated by fear and so that would be the type of sort of like cycle that you would be stepping into the other thing is motivated by like passion inspiration it can be creativity like some type of fire and that would be the cycle that you would be stepping into if you go that way authenticity i'm seeing and like following your heart be part of this too and as much as that may seem like it's glamorized like i'm not saying one path is better than the other this is just laying everything out so you can make an informed decision here with what you want to do you holding your like bigger vision that you have for yourself which is connected with the star which is like what is my like bigger sense of purpose or what is my vision or what do i envision for myself or like what is my my dream or what do i feel like is truly aligned dharmically for me maintaining that and also remaining hopeful is going to be really helpful allowing you to fully access and understand your intention here with like what you're visualizing and what you're trying to create and make a choice that a lot that aligns yes that aligns with a sense of harmony which is feeling like harmony within your life especially 
one that feels like it will allow you to stabilize something on an internal level that will like stabilize your sense of drive because you're making a choice in that way. There may be stuff that's coming up that's connected with like responsibilities, that's connected with ego, that's connected with roles, that's connected with benefits, that's connected with, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, opportunity. But it, it feels too like this is about you knowing what types of things you want to be doing. Like King of Pentacles and the star is about you doing stuff where you're like, this holds actual meaning for me. Like this is something that I feel like is not a waste of my time or not a waste of my resources, like my energy and my focus and my inspiration and my mind and my heart, you know, those types of things. So it's about signing on for things that actually have meaning or like playing certain roles that actually have meaning for you. And it shows here too that like there's something that you're completing, there's something that you're accomplishing, which feels too like understanding, um, understanding like the bigger role that you have to play. And knowing also which roles do not align for you. Having the death card feels like this may be the conclusion of something because you're going to be stepping into something else, but it's a path where you're like, I know that this speaks to me and that's the way that you're moving. So I'm seeing that's what's happening. To have the death card, it shows that there's going to be a very big change that's happening. However, on the other side of this is the page of wands. So this shows you putting yourself onto it, like re-emerging onto a path where you're like, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is really what I want to do right now, like that type of thing. So that's where I'm seeing you be. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.